welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Lizelle and I just finished doing a tutorial on this makeup look. It's this really glittery, glittery, glittery fall inspired halo eye. Here in Australia, we are officially done with the cold months. It's actually getting quite hot lately so we are officially in spring now however I do love all fall makeup looks so I decided that for those of you who are in the northern hemisphere I would do a tribute to fall and do a fall inspired makeup look okay so first things first I am going to start off by spritzing my face with some of the smash smashbox smashbox photo finish primer water I love this stuff because you don't actually have to touch your face and rub it in. I know that sounds silly, but it's good for that. I do get pretty generous with it, more so because it feels so refreshing to spray it onto your face. I love that feeling. Oh no, I scratched my face here and it looks like I have some weird mark. I will be starting off with the eyes today because I am going to be working with some glitter. So first things first, I'm going to prime my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. This is a really popular one and I feel like it is because of the really nice yellow undertone it has and of course it makes your eyeshadows last all day long. To apply this I'm just using the Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. Yeah. Do you guys see the difference that makes? Like, this is the primed one, this is the non-primed one. As you can see, all of my darkness and everything has been cancelled out. Now that that base is all on, I am of course going to set it just so that my eyeshadows blend seamlessly once I apply them. So this is the Astralis, whoops, it's upside down. This is the Astralis Ready, Set, Go finishing powder. I don't actually talk about this on my channel that much because I find that when I use it to set my under eye concealer and stuff, it doesn't give any type of brightening effect. When I apply this over my concealer under my eyes, it makes it look like I have no lines, no pores, nothing. It just makes everything look so, so smooth. I actually like this a lot, I just don't talk about it on my channel that much. Today I am going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. I have not used this yet because honestly it's too pretty to touch and I just didn't know where to start with it, but I feel like for the fall season that is coming up for those of you in the northern hemisphere this is probably going to be really really popular because the shades are just they scream autumn fall like all these warm shades are just I love it. First off I'm going to take the shade Burnt Orange and this is the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush I'm just going to apply that to my brush tap off the excess and run that through my crease whoa wow this is like already so pigmented and easy to blend. So I'm just going to continue building that up till I get the color and intensity that I want. As you guys can see as well, I am running it from the outer edge to the inner edge because today I'm feeling like doing a halo eye. Next up, I'm going to be going in with the shade Rilga and I'm going to pretty much apply that in the same area as I applied the first shade, but I'm just going to use this color to deepen it up and add more depth to the look. The brush that I'm using for this is the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. Next up I'm taking the shade Red Ochre with the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader Brush and this is where I'm going to start doing the whole halo effect that I was talking about. So I'm just going to start by applying that to the outer edge, pulling it through the crease a little but then leaving the middle blank and then applying it to the inside corner of my eye. For the blank space of my eye, as in the middle part, I am going to be applying Primavera. It's this shimmery golden shade. This isn't necessary because I will be applying a glitter on top, but I just felt like doing it so that there's something underneath. So basically, I'm just filling in that blank space where I didn't put any eyeshadow before. And to apply this, I'm using the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader. So that's how it looks without any glitter. I think you could leave it like this, it would be totally fine. But because I want to be extra today, I am going to be applying glitter. And I've decided to use the Violet Voss Copperella Glitter. But before I apply that straight onto my eye, of course, I have to have something to stick it to. So I'm going to be using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue. So this is the glitter that I am going to be using today. Like I said, it's from Violet Voss. It's their loose glitter in the shade 
copperella and I feel like because it is that coppery burnt orange kind of shade it will definitely go with this look really well so now that the glitter is on my lids I am going to just go in and kind of blend it slightly just so everything sits nicely on my eyes so I'm pretty much just taking some more of that red ochre shade to deepen up the inner and outer corners now that I have done the glitter on my lids I am going to just dust off a bit of that glitter that fell out because obviously I don't want to have a glittery face. Okay, now it's time to go in with foundation and I'm using my current favorite. I've really been loving this foundation. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. My shade is light, medium, and neutral and I've been obsessed with this thing. I'm just going to take a pump to the back of my hand and then dot it all over my face. And I think today I'm going to try using my Beauty Blender to blend this into my skin. I haven't used my Beauty Blender for any foundations at all, like for ages. I find that like when I use the Beauty Blender, it makes the foundation really sheer in coverage. And I do like quite a full coverage because I am dealing with acne scarring. So I definitely will be going in with another layer of foundation once I've blended this layer up. Moving on to concealing my under eyes, I'm going to use the Bobbi Brown... Bobby Brown, Bobby Brown corrector in dark peach, and this is because I do have quite uh, dark under eye circles. So I don't know. Since I'm working with like a lot of glitter and stuff, I feel like it's necessary for me to color correct so that my dark circles don't through. So that my dark circles don't show through as much. I can't talk today. I don't know why. I'm not used to like talking while doing my makeup. So let me know if you guys do enjoy these talk through tutorials. To actually conceal, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I got this ages ago and the shade that I bought was light warm. And since I was a little bit more dark back then, I thought I didn't like it. But I mean, I really like a bright under eye highlight conceal now so oh that is bright so I'm just going to apply this of course under my eyes down the bridge of my nose above my brows and a little bit on my chin and then again I'm just taking my beauty blender to blend it all out now to set the concealer I am going to use the Astralis ready set go finishing powder and like I said this stuff is amazing for setting your under eyes I don't bake with it because I feel like that would be a little bit too much happening but I mean I love patting it on and the brush that I use to set my concealer is the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush. This is number F35. Even though it's a highlighter brush it is amazing for getting into the areas under your eyes and just setting all of that concealer so that's why I love it so much. And then for the rest of my face I'm just going to use the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder. I'm using the shade Natural. I've had this thing for ages but I totally neglected it and stopped using it. It's actually a really good powder. Now I can finish doing my eyes so I'm just taking the shade Burnt Orange and I'm going to be running that along my bottom lash line just so everything kind of ties in together. I can't leave my bottom lash line blank. I feel like naked if I do. I'm going to be taking red ochre and pretty much doing the same but more closer to the lash line. This gives a really nice like smoky effect without being too harsh because it kind of transitions from the red ochre to the burnt orange. All right for the inner corner I'm going to be taking Primavera again just for that inner corner highlight. The lashes that I'm going to be using today are in the style Diva from Coco Lashes. I love them. They're super intense like at the root of the bend and then they taper out and go really wispy on the ends. And I love wispy lashes so the fact that this gives you like really intense volume plus fluttery wispiness is just everything. I just realized that I totally forgot to apply mascara first so I'm quickly going to do that. So I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Architect 4D mascara. So now that I have mascara on I can apply my lashes. I can't believe I forgot to apply mascara. Alright so the eyes are done. Finally now I'm going to contour. So I'm using the Kat Von D shade and light palette. I'm taking this middle shade. It's called shadow play. I should totally know that by now. And I'm just using using a Models Prefer contouring brush. To bronze my face, I'm of course using none other than my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Give Me Sun. I always use this and I feel like I need to find a different bronzer because 
I'm sure you guys are getting sick of me using this. For blush, I'm going to be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Exposed. This is like probably their number one shade. And I can totally see why, because it's such an amazing neutral shade. Of course, I'm doing highlight today and I wasn't sure if I wanted to use this in this video or not because it is a limited edition product that is no longer available, but I've been using it like crazy lately and I've been obsessed with it. So this is the MAC highlight in the shade Oh Darling. I couldn't not use this highlight because, I mean, ooh, yes. <laughs> Isn't it funny that like, whenever I apply a highlight, and I'm sure you guys do it too, or at least some of you would, you get on like this kind of angle where you gotta like be able to see it. You gotta get the light hitting it, like, I don't know why, but I always do it like I get <laughs> my head's like tilting and <laughs> it's so weird. I'm gonna run some down the bridge of my nose as well. Oh my gosh, I love this highlight. You guys don't understand. I've been buying highlights like crazy lately and I had this in my collection. I totally forgot about it. I was like, wow, you're beautiful. Okay, now that that is done, I'm pretty sure that I'm down to the lips. I'm not really sure what kind of color I wanted to wear on the lips. It's either going to be nude or I'm going to go with something really intense, but I don't know, with the glitter I'm kind of feeling nude, so I think I'm going to have to do nude. My favorite nude lip combination as of late has been these three products. So this is the Rimmel London Lip Liner in the shade 047 Cappuccino. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this in a favorites video in the past. I then like to go in with Max Velvet Teddy, probably my favorite MAC lipstick. Even though this is a matte formula, it's extremely creamy when you apply it to the lips, which I really like because I have super dry lips. Then I go on top with Max Myth, but only to the center of my lips because this is what makes the lips look really pouty. That's what's going to give them that like pout. Alright guys, this is the finished look. I'm so so happy with how it turned out. I'm obsessed with the glitter man. Like, I don't know why I don't do more glittery looks and I'm pretty sure after this I'm about to go order a bunch more glitters so I can do a lot more glitter tutorials for you guys because I really 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 like glitter. Anyway, let me know what you thought of this look in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel channel if you aren't already so you don't miss a video I post. If you guys want to follow me on any of my social media accounts you can find the links to those in the description box as well as a list of all the products I used in this video. So that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I really hope you guys are having an awesome week and I'll see you all in my next video. Take care.